Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. If you're new here, um, I am on a journey to lose 100 pounds and this is my week 11 update. So let's get into it. Guys, <clears throat> it has been a week. Um, it is actually, it's been a short week. So Memorial Day was on Monday. So I got a little loosey goosey with the rules for myself on Monday which is like to be expected. I'm not gonna completely ditch everything that I like doing just because I'm trying to lose weight. Um, I just tried to um, adjust my decisions accordingly the other four days of this week, which actually ended up working out. So my week 11 update, if you watched last week's update, I had actually gained two pounds, but I wasn't too worried about it because it was like hormones fluctuating, bloating, all that stuff. But I ended up losing those two pounds this week, so that's good. Um, so I'm almost under 230 now, which is great. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. I feel pretty good this week, other than Monday with, like, I had some alcohol. I actually posted a video about what I ate that week, and it was, like, far from my ordinary meals that I normally eat. So if you are interested, go watch my Memorial Day full day of eating. Um, my mom did great with all the food and I'm thankful that we got to hang out and thankful that we got to eat all that delicious food and I tried some new drinks and it was just, it was a fun day. So I'm thankful that we got to do that even though it didn't necessarily fit into my plan. But the other four days this week, I have been really good about sticking to my calories. I did kind of adjust them to go a little bit lower, um, not by a ton, just like I adjusted the deficit just like a teeny tiny bit, just so I could kind of like make up for some of the decisions that I've been making in the last couple weeks. I did really focus on um, my protein intake this week, which really helped my hunger levels. So I didn't really notice um, like, that I adjusted my calorie intake to be a, a little bit lower because I really focused on um, getting a lot of protein in every day. So I was much more satisfied for much longer than I have been, which was actually kind of nice because I was getting to the point where I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to worry about calories anymore. And I was like, but I, I have to, cause I can't trust my um, portion sizes just yet. Like I, I don't, naturally choose the correct portion size for my body so I do need to keep tracking and um having a lot I'm like really rambling but having a lot of protein tried to have a lot of protein for every meal and at night was like very helpful for me I did a lot of um, protein powder I had some protein ice creams which were really good um, a lot of Greek yogurt we had ground turkey this week um, yeah, but that really helped me and it helped me not have to focus so much on like the deficit because I wasn't as hungry because I was eating more protein. Um, so that really helped me stick to my, my goals. I stuck to it every single day this week other than Monday, which is great. I'm trying to continue that into the weekend. It's not a holiday. We have no social plans. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep to my program and hopefully I can. Um, it is Friday. It's the weekend. I do like to have some alcohol here and there on the weekends. I'm 25. I'm just a girl. Okay. I'm just a girl. So I do like to drink a little bit on the weekends and I'm actually going to try to film like a low calorie martini recipe. So if you like to partake in some drinks, um, go to my TikTok. It's at Kelsey Ayers. I'm going to post it on there. Um, I've been like tinkering with some low calorie drinks. I love martinis. I love seltzers. Um, those are the kind of drinks that I like. I like things sweet, but not too sweet. So it's not just going to be like a, a dry, plain vodka martini. That's not really my style. <laughs> um, but if you want to see that recipe, go to my TikTok. I'm going to film it later tonight. I also think I'm going to film like a what I drink in a day tomorrow because I am a girl of some fun drinks. This isn't necessarily fun, but it is a little drink that gets me through the day and um, it keeps me going. You know what I mean? So I think I might do that on Saturday because, you know, I like coffee. I do like soda, diet soda and 
I'll die on this hill. I don't care if it's bad for me. Let me have it. You know what I mean? This is one of those things. Just let me have my Diet Coke a day. Not, I don't even have one every day. But you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean? See, it just like, oh, it just, it's so good. So, um, yeah. And then it'll be the weekend still. So obviously, Saturday is the weekend for me. Um, so I might put some like alcohol in there, like some fun recipes. And then I like... I like a poppy, you know, we'll see where the day takes us. So if you want to see that, go to my TikTok. I'll post that there. Um, I love to see like some feedback on TikTok. I'm much more comfortable on YouTube. Um, <laughs> I'm not really comfortable on TikTok, but I'm going to keep posting there anyway. So if you want to see those, I've said 9,000 times, go to my TikTok. It'll be linked in um, the description below. But so overall, I'm in a good mood. I've had a lot of caffeine today, so I'm like, chat, 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 ready to talk to you guys. And I've given you my update. This week was like overall really good. I didn't have a ton of like stress going on. I didn't have a ton of anxiety. I was feeling pretty fueled, pretty good to go. So I really didn't struggle this week, which is good because I, I needed like a good week. Uh, I, if you've watched my other updates, it's, it has not been going very well so far. Um, I'm dog sitting and there's a dog snoring in the background. Um, so if you can hear that, that's what that is. <laughs> but I, it's been a struggle for the past while, like maybe even a month, um, which is saying a lot because I've only been doing this for like oh, almost three months actually. <laughs> now that I say that, the weeks really go by fast, but the days go by slow. You know what I mean? Um, so I needed, I needed a good... I needed a good week to set me on a good foot. We have a lot of summer plans and a lot of changes that are going to be happening soon. And we're just gonna be like really moving around a lot. Um, so I'm really trying to like get into the swing of things and be really positive about it before all of that stuff starts happening. So when we are traveling, we are doing stuff and I'm not in my routine, I have like something to hold on to. I can like feel calm. If I get into the routine, the swing of things, you know what I'm saying? So that'll be interesting. My updates might look a little different um, just because it's about to be June and we have like five trips planned before like September. Like it, it, it's gonna get a little bit crazy around here. So um, I just really wanna get into the habit of tracking, really wanna get comfortable with um, like decision making, healthy decision making, how to like, if I am going to be drink, we're going like on fun trips. So we are going to be drinking, we're going to be going to events and things like that. So I kind of want to like, get a little bit better about balancing drinking and eating and making sure that I'm not like blowing my calories for the day on that. Um, so we'll see what happens with this. But I did also kind of want to update. I went to two spin classes this week. Well, I'm going to one tomorrow and I went to one on Wednesday. Um, but it went really well actually. And I felt like motivated and happy after the class, which I haven't been feeling, which is amazing. I am so excited about that. It is really my like favorite form of activity. So the fact that I was feeling kind of down and not motivated to do it was kind of sad for me. Um, but I felt really good after the class on Wednesday and I'm hoping the one in the morning is the same. Um, yeah, it was just, I just love rhythmic spin so much. And the fact that I was like in a rut with it was just like, I was having a really hard time with it. And I'm really excited that I don't want to put the car before the horse or anything, but I'm excited that I have that like a little bit of spark back so I can kick it into gear for summer. You know what I mean? Um, I want to go, I used to want to go like twice a day, every day. I wanted to be an instructor and then I hit a rut and it was like all breaks, no gas. You know what I mean? I was like, I hate it. I don't want to go. I don't like going. I don't like talking to people there. I don't want to get on the bike. I, I'm just, it was just really bad, really fast. Not exactly sure what sparked that, but I think I'm slowly starting to get back into the swing of things and I'm really excited because I love spin and I could literally talk about it for like 12 hours straight without stopping so if you haven't tried you should because it's my favorite thing ever and I'm slowly starting to get back into it so that was good and then I also prioritized walking on the days that I didn't do spin so I went on a walk every single day I'm gonna go on a walk after I finish making this video it's been beautiful all week it's been like so pretty 
So I've been walking outside. It's been gorgeous. I haven't quite hit like 10,000 steps a day, but I'm not really worried about that. I'm just, oh, excuse me, the Diet Coke. You know what I mean? But the the idea in my head, like uh, realistically, I would like to get like 10 to 15,000 steps every day. That would be perfect for me because it feels like I accomplished something, I did something, I walked a pretty long distance, like, but for now, I'm just trying to get in the habit. So I averaged like 7,000 probably a day, which is okay. Um, I just, again, I just want to get in the habit of doing it, actually going out and walking and getting some form of movement done for the day. So that's what I did. And I accomplished that. And I'm going to do it today. And I'll probably go on a walk tomorrow too. And then Sunday as well. So I'm really trying to get, it's so beautiful out. I need to like get out and go, you know? So yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself for doing that because for some reason it's really hard for me to like get out of the house and like get a walk in or like get any form of movement in if it's not a class. So I really tried to focus on doing that and it was nice and it made me feel good and I felt accomplished. And I think that helped um, make me feel good about this week in general because I actually stuck to what I said I was gonna do and I moved my body and you know, you get endorphins with that and it made my legs feel good and it made me feel stronger and I just, it was nice. And so <laughs> that is the movement update of the week. Um, I do have right here on my little note for the week. I, so I don't know why I can't like speak. I got engaged like eight months ago, I think roughly sometime in, uh, we got engaged in October. Um, so you do the math, but I'm engaged and I don't know how old you guys are. I don't know what phase of life you're in, but if you're in this phase of life with me, you may resonate with what I'm about to say. If not, or you've already been through it, definitely like comment down below your opinions, thoughts, emotions that come up after I say what I'm about to say. Um, Cause I would like to hear your guys' opinion about it. Um, and this is a perfect example of like, our phones are listening to us this I like thought this in my head and I wrote it down on my app um, or my, my notes app to remember to speak about it in the video and then I was served a TikTok like the next time I got on TikTok talking about this exact thing so I was like mm, okay wow crazy but what I'm about to say is that a lot of the time and by a lot of the time and like basically every single time you get married or you get engaged you're focusing on wedding planning you're like getting your photo taken all the time, you have showers, you have engagement photos, you have your honeymoon, you have your wedding day, like it's all a lot. It's like so much going on, but like society has kind of conditioned us to be like, you need to get in shape for your wedding day. You need to lose weight, you need to be fit, you need to be the fittest you've ever been, you need to drop 50 pounds before you get married, it doesn't matter if your wedding's next week, like you need to get skinny. And this has always kind of been the narrative behind it. And I didn't ever really think about that. Like I've said before, but I um, was born in like 98. So I kind of grew up in the 2000 skinny era. So that's kind of what I was just used to. I was accustomed to the 2000 skinny. I was accustomed to the magazines. I was accustomed to the Weight Watchers commercials. I like tried to do Weight Watchers when I was 12. All of my like my aunt and all of her young friends were in college at the time and they were like trying to get skinny all the time and like doing Weight Watchers and it, it was just like very much about your appearance which it still is but like it's a little different now um, and I never really thought about it in relation to weddings until I got engaged but I remember now watching like say yes to the dress and people commenting on their arms would be like oh I'm not skinny enough to wear that or oh I'm on like a juice cleanse and I'm trying to drop 50 pounds before my wedding next year or just like comments like that and there is this pressure still, even though we're not in like the 2000s, late 90s, like skinny era right now, which I'm actually going to talk about next, but we're not really in that and we've come a long way when it comes to like body image and things like that. But there still is this like immense pressure for young women to, or whoever's getting married, to like look their best 
and be their smallest and be their fittest on their wedding day. And I didn't really pay attention to it until it started kind of happening to me. And I like, nobody's said anything. Nobody's been like, oh, you need to lose weight. Like nothing like that in my personal life. They're like, oh yeah, you're getting married. Like there's been nothing but positive feedback for us. But in my head, I have like internalized all of those thoughts that society has put out and I've like taken in my whole life. And I'm like, oh, well, like I actually really need to get fit for my wedding day. Or like, I need to be skinny before we take photos or that dress isn't gonna look good on me if I don't weigh this amount. And it just so happens that I'm trying to lose weight during like our engagement season, but I'm not doing it for um, the like in preparation for the wedding or anything or like to look different in a wedding dress or anything like that. Like it just so happens to be near the same time because we, for, reference here we had our engagement photos taken we're taking things very slow we had our engagement photos taken last weekend and we've been engaged for what like eight months now and we just like got around to doing that but i i had that quick thought in my head i was like oh i'm not gonna like these because i'm not skinny enough i'm i'm not gonna like the way that i look in these and i'm gonna have these photos forever and i'm gonna only remember how uncomfortable i felt or how fat i was that's not the case like i've had i've been overweight my entire life and all of the times that there have been photos taken of us on like special occasions yeah maybe there's some that i don't like and i'm like oh that's not my best angle or like the double chin is popping in that photo maybe i won't post that one but it's just like the memories are more important to me than the actual photos when i get them back if you know what i mean like but leading up to every photo shoot or like for example like graduation photos or that's really the only like professional photos I've gotten. But like we took photos when we got engaged and I was really worried leading up to it that I was gonna hate the photos because I was too fat to be in them. And I'm like, okay, first of all, shut up. But by the time we got them back or they were edited or whatever, like I liked them. Did I look skinny? No, because I'm not. But I still like the photos because it's the memories. It's like the, the fun times that you captured on camera despite not being your skinniest or fittest or whatever and i am trying to like combat that with like wedding stuff because i have my dress and i love the way it looked and i just immediately liked it it didn't matter how how big i was or how small i was it didn't matter how fit i was i just like imagined how great it's going to be on that day and i'm really trying not to like get into my head about it and go kind of crazy and be like, oh, I need to lose this amount of weight by this time and really just stick to the plan that I had anyway. And like, if I lose weight by then, that's awesome. That's great. I'm sure I will feel more confident in the photos and I'll feel more confident in my skin, but I'm not doing it just because of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you are like in this, in a sim, I literally cannot speak. If you're in a similar place in your life and you're worried about not looking your best on your wedding day or they got a bad picture of you at your shower or if you're graduating and you're like oh man I like wanted to be skinny before I graduated or I wanted to have those abs or I wanted my arms look toned it's fine if it doesn't happen like you are oh it's fine if you take like a healthy approach to weight loss or take a healthy approach to bulking or taking a healthy approach to your cut before a big event if that's what's going to make you feel better but don't go crazy about it it's not that's not what's important people aren't going to remember that day and be like wow her arms look really fat that dress. no unless they're your enemy and you shouldn't be friends with them anyway okay um they're gonna remember the times they had with you. They're gonna remember the fun photos that you posted. They're gonna remember how happy you were. They're gonna remember, they're just not gonna focus on that. And so you shouldn't really either. Um, but like I said, it's, it's fine to wanna change your appearance. It's fine to wanna make adjustments. It's fine to wanna get healthier. It's fine to do all of those things. But like, just because you have a big event coming up doesn't mean you have to go to like extremes to be a certain way or to do a certain thing. And I'm really trying to keep that in mind because I just want to have fun that day and feel good and not 
worry about anything else. So ideally, I would like to have lost a lot of weight by that time. Um, we kind of have a date in mind and I, I would like to have lost a bit of weight by that point, but I'm not going to change my plan. I'm not going to go crazy with like the calorie deficit. I'm not going to over exercise. I'm just going to do things how I'm doing them now. And if I look different, I look different, but if I don't, that's fine too. And I want to find, I already found a dress that I'm already comfortable in at my size now. So if I'm the same size for some reason, by that point, I, I still feel beautiful in the dress. Um, and that's what matters. So keep that in mind if you're in a similar season or you have a big event coming up. It doesn't even just have to be like a wedding or an engagement or anything. Um, it could be anything. It could be any event. Just keep that in mind. Don't do anything crazy. It's fine that you look the way that you look. If you want to make changes, do it. But don't go crazy, you know? And try to just keep a positive outlook. It's so hard when you get in your head, especially as a female. Like, it, well, I mean... I say especially as a female, but I, I have only lived this life as a female, so that's the only perspective I know. But it could definitely be this way for other people too. Um, but it's very hard not to get in your head about that and not to let society like brainwash you kind of. And it's time to unlearn some of those things that society has told us. And that kind of segues into my last topic that I wanna talk about. This is a little bit less of like a weekly update, just another topic I want to discuss, but I saw something that was like 2024 skinny. So I've said multiple times, like early 2000s, late 90s skinny. It was like cocaine chic, you know what I mean? If you have been around, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it was all over the media. People were just trying to be as skinny as possible. Everybody was on like Atkins, Weight Watchers, I don't know any of the other ones, but like they were just trying to be as skinny as possible under every circumstance. There, it, it was just like, be skinny. That is what everybody wanted to look like. That's what all the models look like. That's what the celebrities were doing. And that was a trend, right? So then we kind of went into like Kardashian era, like big butt, big boobs, really curvy, still skinny. <laughs> If you had fat arms or like thighs that matched your butt, that was out still, but you, the curves were more appealing to the masses, I guess. And that's what the celebrities were doing. And that's what some of the models were doing. And now it kind of feels like we're going a little bit backwards. I kind of touched on this last week when I started talking about Ozempic, just because that's a topic of conversation right now. And people who don't need it are taking it. Like people that are already really thin are not that don't need it medically are taking it and they're getting really, really, really skinny. And a lot of the celebrities are thinning out or they're taking out their implants or they're posting their crazy workout routines. And I've seen um, what I eat in a day for models kind of like coming back up and getting a lot of traction and young girls on TikTok talking about like, oh, well, this is like my workout routine after school and I work out for this long and I eat this amount of calories every day. And it's kind of like trending back to like, not necessarily as extreme yet, but it's kind of trending back to like skinny is the move. Skinny is what you want to do. Skinny is what you want to be. You're ugly and gross if you're not that. Not true, but that's kind of like where I'm sensing the trends moving. And I just, a, a trend is a trend, right? You don't have to follow a trend. Trends are not our lives. Like trends don't make up our lives either. So you can do whatever you want. You don't have to pay attention to trends. You don't have to get on social media. You don't have to be like, oh, well that girl did that. So I need to do that. You don't have to do that. Um, but sometimes, especially in today's day and age, when we're just constantly consuming content, um, which I do, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm not on my phone all the time because I am. Um, and I get a lot of content because of it and I'm consuming so much media that it's hard not to internalize some of those things that you're seeing. And I just really am trying. It's kind of the same thing with the, the wedding step. I'm really trying to just do what I want to do. Um, I have, obviously I'm overweight, right? But I have a pretty muscular build in general. I have very wide shoulders. Um, I have very muscular legs. Like I've always looked like that. My family looks like that. I, I don't ever think I would look like that stick thin 
model type figure just because I, like my bones are not made like that. I'm just like a wider, broader female, which is fine. Just because it doesn't fit into the trend doesn't mean I should kill myself to try to get to it. And I think we all need to like take a step back sometimes, especially when we're getting bombarded with content and think about how we're all so different. And like, yes, the people that you're seeing online may all look the same or they may be, I don't know, they may be what you want to look like. But some of those people don't even look like how those people look. You, social media is very much a highlight reel. You don't, which <laughs> mine's not, but um, you don't want to take what you're seeing on social media or in the media and apply it directly to your life because that's not even real for them. They, they have makeup on, they have professional photographers, they have like, they've edited their photos sometimes or they've had plastic surgery, which is all fine. Like we don't wanna post an ugly photo of us online to, for everyone to see. That's not what we do out here. Um, but it's hard to look at those photos someone that has edited it or gotten plastic surgery or gotten a boob job which is plastic surgery but like you know what i'm saying to look at those photos and then look at yourself in the mirror natural raw you and be like well why does she look like that and i don't or why did they look like that and i don't they don't even look like that you know what i mean so i just want to say like if you're consuming the same media and the same content that i am and you're seeing the trends change just know that you don't have to follow them. And it's fine if you don't look like that. It's actually great that you don't look like that. And it would all be horribly boring and sad and very dystopian if we all looked exactly the same and all went to the same plastic surgery doctors. That's all I have to say on that. And it is way harder said than done. Um, especially as like a young person who's grown up on social media and just like consumed it their whole life. It's, it's very hard to look at other people and not compare yourself but it really is the thief of joy. Whoever said that originally, they nail on the head. You know what I mean? Because it is. Um, you have to take what you have and be thankful and happy and learn how to love that. There are some changes you can make, right? Exactly, I'm making changes right now. I'm trying to lose weight. Or maybe I'll get loose skin removed. Or maybe you want to get your lips done or plastic surgery or you dye your hair. I do. Like there are things that you can change and that's great. And if that makes you feel good, then do it. But if you're doing it only for other people, don't. You wanna do it for you. It's, it's just you at the end of the day. So that's who you're trying to please, you know? Um, okay, well, if you made it to the end of my rant, you get $5,000. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I wish I could give you all $5,000. But I just, um, I needed to get all that off my chest. I needed to talk about it with somebody because it does relate to weight loss, but it also doesn't. Um, so if you have any comments on anything that I just said, <laughs> leave it down below. Um, recipe of the week this week is chocolate brownie protein ice cream. Oh my God, it is so good. This is the best one I've made so far. Um, I All of you commented your um, ice cream flavors. Thank you, I will be making them, I swear. But this one, I just had it made already and I tried it and it is six ounces of chocolate Fairlife milk is what I used. You could use any chocolate milk. Um, and then one packet of the chocolate brownie batter, Clean Simple Eats protein. That alone was delicious, but then I put two little sneaky Oreos in it as a mix-in. It was life-changing. You could have put that in a freaking cone and served it to me at a, an ice cream shop and I would have believed you. It was so good. I could eat that literally every single night. So if you don't have a creamy, put that shit in a blender um, and try it because it was so good. It was so good. Um, my question of the week is kind of related to the, actually not kind of, it is fully related to the wedding content that I was like, wedding conversation that I was having, geez. Um, if you are engaged slash married or have been before and you went through like the wedding planning stage, um, did you feel pressure to like adjust yourself according to trends or according to your family or according to media or whatever? Like, did you feel pressure to change what you were doing or how you looked or what your plans were based on the expectations or opinions of other people. I would love to know. Um, 
And that's really all I have this week. I mean, it was only 45 minutes long. So thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I love seeing your guys' comments. Um, thank you for subscribing. I'm almost at 300, which sounds like such a little number, but I'm like, I'm proud of it. I'm really proud of um, the videos and the content, and I'm very thankful for every single one of you who has subscribed. And um, any of your engagement just like makes me smile. So <laughs> thank you for doing that. And um, that's all I have. So I will see you guys in my next one um and i am on instagram and tiktok too so if you want more of me i couldn't imagine why but if you want more of me i am on both of those and it's just my first and last name so bye guys